What is going on guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to Snack Time. Today we're gonna to be actually making some lemon vanilla waffles. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. <laughs> wondering how I even came up with this recipe I actually just kind of memorized this one and I decided to honestly add a little bit of vanilla or I'm sorry not vanilla but lemon extract and uh, it turns out it tastes amazing and I wanted to share this recipe with you all the first thing you're gonna need is a cup of flour you're gonna need a teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of baking powder a half a teaspoon of salt two tablespoons of vinegar you can do apple cider or just regular vinegar one to two teaspoons of vanilla extract a teaspoon of lemon extract and of course you're gonna need sugar so you're gonna need about three tablespoons but before we get started I do want to go ahead and talk about today's sponsor which is absolutely no one so let's go ahead and go wash our hands and then we'll go ahead and get the cooking Okay, so now that we have our hands washed, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So the first thing you wanna go ahead and do is get your flour. This is King Arthur's all-purpose flour right here. Uh, it works really well. I love King Arthur's flour. That's what I usually use. Uh, that's what I always use when I was in culinary class. One thing that I did forget was milk. So here we go, we got the milk here. Uh, it's a fresh new thing of milk. Uh, this is lactate, so if you lactose intolerant, you know, this is 2% reduced fat milk. Uh, it's really good milk. If you don't want to use milk, obviously there's a bunch of substitutes. I also have an actual KitchenAid mixer. We just got this mixer like about two weeks ago and I absolutely love it. Um, but I will say I was using a regular just bowl and whisk for this beforehand. Always use your dry ingredients first. Uh, the first thing, like I said, you're going to want to go ahead and do is get your dry ingredients together. Uh, but there is one thing. Because we don't really have buttermilk and we got to basically make buttermilk, what you're going to do is get the two tablespoons of vinegar that I talked about earlier and you're gonna pour those two tablespoons of vinegar to a cup like so. But before you do that, put a cup of milk in here. So when pouring any liquid, guys, always leave it on a surface. That way you can have it leveled and you're able to see correctly how much that you're putting in. So we're gonna go ahead and pour this one cup now. Try to do this with one hand. All right, so that's basically one cup. It's okay to have a little bit more because if you want a more runny batter, you're gonna need more milk anyways. And I'm probably gonna add a little bit more afterwards. So again, one cup of milk, we're gonna go ahead and add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, and you can use regular vinegar if you need to. All right, so let's go ahead and get these dry ingredients together now. Again, one cup of all-purpose flour. Obviously, you don't wanna get flour everywhere, so I highly recommend you uh, try your best, to just kinda of dump it in as quick as possible, or you can try to have like a bit of wax paper under this. And to make this easier, I'm gonna go ahead and pop off this bowl really quick on the KitchenAid. That way I can just go ahead and dump everything in here and then pop it back on. All right, so this is Himalayan salt, as you see here. This is pink Himalayan salt. You don't have to use this stuff, but I just love this stuff. Just to have a teaspoon of salt. Now, baking soda, baking powder. This is where I kind of change the recipe a little bit. So the reason why I do one teaspoon of both of these is because for some reason it just makes it a little bit more fluffier. I don't know why, it's just a chemical reaction that happens. I just notice when I do one in one, it makes it really fluffy and really good. Uh, you can do basically a half a teaspoon, if I'm correct, like a baking soda, and it'll still come out good. But we're gonna do one teaspoon of both, one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda. So this is baking powder right here. You don't have to go in this exact order either of how you're putting it into the bowl. It's all gonna get mixed up regardless. Baking soda. Doesn't really matter to brand. I'll leave them all in the link description below. I am working on my website now. Uh, to get like my whole amzilljobs.com. I already bought the domain and everything, but I need to go ahead and try to get the actual website like created and together. So it's basically a blog page and whatnot. Then I'll have the recipe and everything all on there. Now I'm a clean and go type of guy cause I am really heavy on OCD. So I can't take too much of it. Uh, so as soon as I finish using one product, put it in the pantry. As far as dishes, you can either pile it up, let it all soak once you're done or you can just kind of clean as you go. It just depends on how you like to do you. Next up, we have sugar. So I like to do, you're supposed to do two tablespoons of this. I usually do about two and a half, uh, mainly because I like my batter a little bit sweeter. So we're gonna go ahead and do 
two and a half tablespoons of a uh, sugar okay so that's it for your dry ingredients that's all that you need to do the only two other things that you have left now are going to be vanilla extract the lemon extract and then you're also going to have one egg i'm going to show you what you're going to do with the egg and you're also need, going to need two tablespoons of butter i'm sorry that i forgot those two beforehand i told you i have to remember this recipe just off the top of my head i'm going to be using the whisk the entire time to uh, kind of mix all this together uh, we're going to go ahead and mix the dry ingredients first uh, then we're gonna go ahead and add the egg and melted butter into like the milk and vinegar mixture. Here we go All right, so this is two tablespoons of butter Two tablespoons. So we're gonna do two tablespoons. All we're gonna do is put this in the microwave in a glass bowl and you can just melt it or you can put this on the stove top really quick, heat it up really fast, mix it together. Then you're gonna pour it into the vinegar and milk mixture. All right, let's put this in the microwave. Make sure if you do put it in the microwave, keep an eye on it and just warm it up every like, I guess 15 seconds. That's way it doesn't splatter in your uh, microwave. Okay, so we got our melted butter. Go ahead and crack your egg now. Don't put the egg in the shell in there. Just put the egg in there. Now you put your melted butter in here. There you go. Now you're gonna mix this together really quick with a spoon. And after that, then you're gonna go ahead and pour this into your dry ingredients. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and mix this in here slowly into the mixer. So just mix it in slowly, guys. Uh, you don't have to rush this one. You just mix it in slowly. Go ahead and lift this up. There you go. And turn it on. Just leave it on stir mode. All right. Now while you're mixing this together though, go ahead and put in your vanilla extract and your lemon extract. So put in your vanilla and put in your lemon. You can do one or two teaspoons of each. It doesn't really matter. It's just really how much how much lemon do you really want in this and how vanilla do you, how much vanilla do you really want. I only recommend doing a little bit of vanilla dough because it is powerful. We'll do one more. Let's go ahead and add our lemon now. We're only going to do probably one of lemon. You know, we'll just do two. We'll do one and a half, one and a half, one and a half. All right, so like I said, in the beginning, if you didn't want this to be a super runny batter, all you have to do is add less milk. Just add less milk and it won't be as runny. If you want it to be runny, just add the one cup of milk. You really shouldn't need much more than one cup of milk, but if you do, do it at your leisure. It really doesn't matter, um, but just don't make it too runny. I don't want you to make it too runny because then it won't really rise like it needs to. But this is good right here. I'm not gonna add any more milk actually. I thought I was gonna need more milk, but we don't need any more milk. All right guys, so this is our mixture right here. It looks really good. It's just runny enough, just thick enough. At least for me, in my opinion, this is how I like my batter. This is kind of how it should turn out. Like I said, if you want it a little bit thicker, just add a little less milk. This is just a half cup thing. That way I can just pour it out into my waffle maker right here. Sometimes I do use this other waffle maker. I use this one right here. It's called the Dash Mini Waffle Maker. I did a video on it a long time ago. If I just wanna make a small serving of something, just use this. Like I said, nobody's sponsoring me or anything, but I really like this waffle maker. It's really cool. But I will leave it in the link in the description below if you wanna check it out. This one is by some place. I don't even know where we honestly got this waffle maker. I will also leave a waffle maker in the link description below as well. Let's go ahead and pour our batter in now. You're gonna have to add a little bit more 
I like the eyeball at first just to see just in case. I don't want to add too much batter, obviously. All right, I think that's enough. Yeah, we'll stop right there. Let it close it down, flip it over, and then just wait. Okay, so it says it's ready. Let's go ahead and check it out. We'll turn it back over. Woo! Hoo, hoo, hoo. Y'all see that right there? That's perfect. Woo! I usually like to use a fork or something to take it out, but that's perfect. Hold on. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Lemon vanilla waffles, guys. All right, we're gonna go ahead and give it a taste. I'm gonna go ahead and get some syrup, a little bit of butter. Let's taste this thing. slow-mo footage i tried to get y'all something uh let's go ahead and give this thing a taste i am so ready to try these out one other thing you can use this as a pancake recipe as well but i did want to go ahead and say though thank you all for watching if you all are enjoying the video please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more content like this mm. yep Okay, they taste amazing. And I hope they taste amazing for you all too. The last thing you really need to do is enjoy your food that you created for yourself. And also wash your dishes. Please wash your dishes and wash your hands. Thank you all for watching once again. I hope you all did enjoy the video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I'd love to have you join this O Squad. Remember to turn on push notifications. And uh, until next time, peace out.